Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to look at transformations. Specifically, we're going to look at what we call isometric transformations. It's kind of some big vocab. Let me explain to you what it means. Isometric transformations are types of transformations where the angles, sides, um, side measurements, and the size of the figure remains the same. All right, those three things do not change when you make an isometric transformation. There are three types of isometric transformations that we're going to talk about today. They are translations, which is sliding across. Let me show you that again. Whee! Transform <laughs> translations. We also have reflections or rotations. Rotations, which don't always look like this. Rotations, we'll talk about what that is. And reflections. That's the best animation I could find for reflections. That's not really what it looks like. Um, but I'll show you what that, that, mean, that looks like when we actually talk about it. So those are isometric transformations, or transformations where the angles, the side measurements, and the size remain the same. Let's look at the slide. Translation is when you move an object without changing its size or rotating it, just like that. All right, we'll get a couple things inside of uh, translation. You can move this happy face up just like that. Notice the happy face remains exactly the same. That object has not changed. It hasn't gotten bigger or smaller. Nothing's changed about it. It just has moved from one place to another. It works with polygons. With polygons, the angle measurements don't change. The side lengths don't change. Um, and the vertices don't change. It's just moving it from one place to another. And even with um, pictures like the sun, there we go. Note again, the angle sides and size remain the same with all of these um, translations. The second transformation we're going to talk about is rotation. Rotation is turning an object around a point. We're going to turn this rectangle, and I'm going to turn it around this point right here um, that I have uh, turn or uh, red. The red point right there. Notice I rotate it like this, and it moves around. The side lengths don't change. It just moves back and forth, rotates around the point. That point that it's rotating around is called the point of rotation. Okay, the point of rotation. And that point of rotation, in this case, it's on a vertex of, of this um, of this rectangle, but that point could be outside of the shape or inside the shape. If it's in the middle of the shape, it'll look like the shape's just spinning around, right? If it's outside the shape, it'll look like the shape's kind of moving in an arc. So the point of rotation can be inside, outside, or on the edge or a vertex of the point, of the, um, of the figure, in this case um, a rectangle. So again, the angle measurements don't change, the side lengths don't change, the size remains the same, an isometric transformation. The third transformation we're going to look at is a reflection. This is when you flip something over or across a line. So you notice I have triangle ABC and I have a blue line here. That's our line of reflection, and I'm going to reflect this shape across. It becomes triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Notice the angle measurements of A and A prime are still the same. The angle measurements of B and B prime is still the same, and the angle measurements of C and C prime are the same. Although the, the shape has flipped over and changed a little bit, right? The side lengths the angle measurements have not changed. Now the challenge with doing a reflection is knowing where to put each um, point. And so what I like to do is I like to measure from the point A, for example, to the line of reflection, and I notice that it's the same length away to A prime. So I know that C is the one that's closest to the line of reflection, and B is the line on, or the point on the bottom that's farthest away. Notice that the, the correlating points, B and B prime, C and C prime, A and A prime, correlate with the point 
ABC from the original triangle. Again, the triangle looks different. However, the angles, the side measurements, and the size of this figure are the same. So this is classified as an isometric transformation. Quick recap on isometric transformation. The angles, side measurements, and size remain the same. We've got translation, we've got rotation, and we have reflection. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Here is your Common Core Anchor and your Pennsylvania Eligible Content. Have a wonderful day.